Who hired Elsa in arc one? No, I'm not even talking about the last episode where Elsa showed up. Which honestly made me think about this, right? Elsa showing up at the last episode was out of nowhere. What kind of connections could she possibly have to show up at that time? Nothing hints at any of that unless it was the madman himself. Roswell L. Mathers planning this shit out. Just for what? For Subaru to have another challenge to overcome? Does that make sense? I'm not sure. The more we delve into the Roswell theory about how he can potentially regress and knows about Subaru's regression and is constantly using him, then one could imagine, just like in Tower of God, Season 1, Episode 1, head on, Yu Han Sung, Fug members were already planning on Bomb to be fucking smuggled into the tower. And in that context, take, take it to be zero. Roswell knew that Subaru would save Amelia if, she, if he hired Elsa to take the pendant. He didn't even need Subaru at that point. So there's a logical inconsistency there because my theory only stands if Roswell already knows Subaru because they're regressing together. But so far, that's not the case. Some other people are saying, what if Roswell summons Subaru? Now I'm like, oh, ho, ho. okay. I thought that Satala was the one that did that shit, but like, maybe. I'm not too sure. I still feel like there is a connection between Roswell and Elsa just because of the convenient timing of her just showing up. I'm so happy that she showed up. Most people are probably crying and sad that Subaru died and his gut got cut open. But to me, I'm like, oh, thank God. The best character design girl with so much fan service is back. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> so new checkpoint. The checkpoint is in the sanctuary, in the trials. <laughs> Elsa, Bow Hunter. Yep, the trial. Emilia? Are we gonna see her teeth clackering again? Cause that shit was so sad. Yo. It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Father! Puck! Puck! Maybe you should thank Roswell. Because of him, Amelia is now forced to be in this shitty situation. And Puck is also gone. She can only rely on Subaru. And this will deepen their relationship in a very artificial way. Subaru the groomer. No, 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 no. Roswell the groomer. Indirectly grooming Amelia. Going with this, but interesting scenario what we're happening because, like, again, she's so isolated. Only Subaru is here. She's clenching, she's even reaching us subconsciously in bed for Subaru's hand. Like, hmm, Roswell, thank you. No opening today. Yeah. How do you know that? Kako? Because I cleared it. And I passed it. Yeah, I passed it. I passed it. I passed it. I passed it. And I passed it. Clear it. Ooh. Last time, we didn't want to tell Amelia that, though, that she wouldn't feel insecure. But last run, Garfield did mention that maybe Amelia should be saved. Maybe you should be the one to clear it. Maybe at the end of the day, Amelia can't do it herself. So should Subaru just clutch? I feel like that still defeats the purpose in the... Confidence that the village of Alarm, or like, oh, oh, I forgot the actual name. The confidence that the village will have for Amelia, because Amelia made that promise that she'll fucking free them. There are three trials. There are three trials. <laughs> Best character. Best character, bro. <laughs> just no hesitation, just drop dead. Three trials, three. どうしたガフィル。別に。それが本当ならどうして何を見たの?マムデッド。見たよりの悪いことに試練ってのは一つじゃないらしい。全部で三つって話した。あと。Emily <laughs> can't even clear the first one and she has to clear three, bro. It's a we're cooked. We're absolutely cooked. これから一個提案がある。yeah, let me do it. Mm -hmm. What? 
that defeats the purpose. I don't think the goal here is to just clear the trials. No, 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 no. It's for Amelia to clear her trials and for her to overcome those pre-Frozen Bond trauma and then to gain the confidence of the villagers and lead them to paradise. I don't think Subaru clearing this shit will actually be useful. <laughs> What? What the fuck? Yo, but the last run, Garfield was the one suggesting like Subaru, bro. Like, I don't think she can do it. Why don't you do it? Something has changed. This guy's bipolar as fuck. We, we need to show him how terrified Amelia is because like, I don't know. Like, what changed? Him not seeing Amelia fucking just tr completely traumatized? What the hell? Yeah. God, one of the fucking most annoying things is when an actual dumbass calls you a dumbass and you're like, you don't even know you're dumb. That's how stupid you are. And I have to sit here and act like you're fucking smart. That's the thing that pisses me off. Monkeys that don't even know they're monkeys. Lack of self-awareness, calling other people like, oh my god, at least I know I'm a monkey, but you don't. <laughs> yes. You've been bodied twice already. There are three fucking trials. You can't do this. Not right now, at least. Like, what are we gonna do? Like, we can't do anything for her other than to sit idly by and support her from the side. She needs to overcome this herself. I fail to see what's gonna change by herself. I wanna save you. Mm -hmm. Good point. Exactly. Her own self confidence will be shot down. Like, you cannot have a ruler being this Amelia who is so. In, like insecure about her lack of accomplishments and qualifications bro like if we want Amelia to be the monarch like you need to build her up Subaru doing this shit is not productive <laughs> just let Subaru be a king at this point and that's a very interesting thing that you bring up right because up until now the royal selections has always been a male the royal selection candidate being a male and then having a dragon priestess that mediates the process to make the covenant with the dragon. But this run, for whatever reason, after the royal family died from the plague, right? This run, for some reason, only female candidates and the dragon priestess position has been merged together with the royal candidate. Why? Why, after all this time, did Lugunica decide, decide have, to have only female candidates as the monarch? I think that my theory is like that the dragon is like an evil dragon that like poisoned the royal family because they were getting too much power and possibly threatened the dragon and the dragon is also horny and wants a harem. So therefore he picked only girls. Yep, that's my theory. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Needs to. <laughs> He needs Amelia to succeed. Alright. He can't... Does Roswell trust us? Not enough to tell us his entire secret just yet. But in Roswell's best interest, he needs a strong Amelia to become the queen. That version of Amelia cannot be the one that has Subaru simply clear the sanctuary trial for her. She needs to overcome it herself. So like, what the fuck are we gonna do, bro? Straight up, like, we can't help Amelia with this other than just like, glaze her and like, give her massages outside and tell her she's gonna be okay, like... I don't know. Alright. Okay. No. 
I do not think so. One could assume that Frederica could be behind this, but I still believe that Frederica is simply taking orders from Roswell. And yes, at the end of the day, Roswell's decision is probably what led to Elsa being in the mansion. But it still doesn't explain how in Arc 1, how he could have hired her in anticipation of Subaru before meeting Subaru. That part is a logical inconsistency that I don't have answers to yet. Hey, what's up? Oh, we playing the Mad Clown soundtrack already. I love the soundtrack. <laughs> Wait, what? This time... What do you, what do you, what do you... You know how Super has a tendency to leak, like, his powers indirectly? By saying, Otto, finally you show up now. You know, it's like, this time, it's like... We are accomplices, right? We're partners in crime, bro! What do you mean this time? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Planning something. Hmm. Subaru. Who did Frederica serve? 10 plus years. You really think Frederica is the mastermind behind everything when you have the fucking orchestrator here in front of you? He is the master of Frederica. There's no shot. Did Rosal just think that Subaru is retarded here? And he's like, I might have to give him some extra hints this time. <laughs> this look is like... Come on, bro. Come on, come on. Let me, let me, let me nudge you in the right direction. Come on, bro. Also, I wonder why Subaru immediately, um, like, yeah, you're I feel like this is an assumption we shouldn't be making. Oto is straight up just waiting in the carriage. Straight up every break time, Oto is just benched on standby. Maybe we should ask Oto. Oto has like the soul of fucking hearing languages and shit. Like he could, I don't know how that's going to fucking help. But like, I don't know, ask Oto for help. But there's apparently one person. I don't know who that one person is. And then Subaru immediately leaves on Patrash. <laughs> Oh, Ram's coming with us. <laughs> Very aware, right? Ram is terrible at most things, and it'd be terrible if she bandaged him. <laughs> so Garfield had to do it as hilarious. <laughs> like, the best thing is how confident Ram is in her faults, and makes it sound like she was right. You fucking idiot. What would have happened if I fucked up that band-aid wrapping? It's like, why are you proud of that? <laughs> I'm taking your girl. Because of Ram. I mean, we've already yeeted Ram before in Arc 2. It's just funny to think about throwing Ram off of Patrash. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, would it, would it work? <laughs> I would work. What? She realized something. A letter. You're not gonna give it to me? Yeah, the like crystal. He's kind of weird this front, huh? Like last time he gave us the crystal, also last time he was so down to like have Subaru save Amelia, but this run, all, Garfield's all over the place, man. Or Ram? 
The woman you love. There it is. Here's the crystal. Thank you, Ram. Right. Yes. I don't know. Matching pair, Federicas. Throwing. Yeah, throwing her. Why? You've done it? Because think about it. What happened when we threw her? Wasn't Rem kind of there? But because Rem is erased in this timeline. Remember, the fog of elimination or gluttony, right? When you erase the name of the Ember, yeah, exactly, right? Any event tied with Rem suddenly does not really happen or is rewritten history. Therefore, Ram is like, hmm. Feels like that's happened before, but not anymore. Hmm. Yeah, this scene, bro. I just wish that she would lift her hair up just to see if there's like two horn slots now, man. Like, imagine there is. Ram, 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 Ram. Ram. Twin sister. We're at the mansion. It's earlier in the day. Nah, I, I do not think Frederica is the enemy. I think this is a red herring. We're focusing too much on Frederica without trying to think beyond Frederica. It's Roswell. And if anything, Frederica is simply acting on Roswell's instructions. Petra! Hey! They're alive! Yeah, we did. Hug? Petra's gonna take this to the bank. Yeah, I think. Oh, again, double take. No, but you could be. Yeah. But when he does stuff like this to Petra out of nowhere without her understanding, you know, it's like... What? <laughs> Look at the awareness she has. The cute sarcasm of a ram who hasn't forgotten and left at a loss. She speaks in third person. She knows what she's all about, bro. She feels cucked? Hold on a second. We got nothing special going on. Girl feels lusting after you. You serve Roswell. You don't like Barusu, right? No, I think Ram has definitely shown, like, signs of respect to Barusu multiple times. Anytime she doesn't shit on him and just says, huh, I think already proves it. And remember, from the eyes of everyone else in this run, in this perfect run, Subaru has done nothing but just clutch throughout the last two months. She clutched the loot seller versus Elsa. He clutched saving this village against the fucking Majus. He, he clutched against the fucking White Whale. Then saved the mansion against the witch called Killed Sin Bish Archbishop of Sloth in two months. To Ram, there is no way Subaru looks like a loser. Yes, his only fuck up was the Royal Capital Selection. Exactly, right? That's it. And I think that's a pretty minor L compared to the heroics that he's done. That whale subjugation alone should literally have him be a hero and have a national holiday straight up there should be a national holiday natsuki subaru day <laughs> know your place oh she's nice to petra though that's nice <laughs> okay did you talk to Biko? We should go to Biko and ask. Roswell said to ask the question. I know that Roswell didn't tell, tell Subaru to do it in this run, but we still have that intel. We should just go and ask Biko right now. Also, show Ram Rim. This will shock her when the living copy of you is in blue. Bye, Petra. 
All those action that Subaru has shown for Petra, simply because Petra's alive, of course Petra doesn't understand, but Subaru's actions towards her is gonna make her thirst for him even more, because she has no clue. She probably just thinks, wow, he must really like me, right? So she gonna just be even more down bad now, move forward. Rem, it's you, but blue, with bigger titties. Ram wouldn't kill Rem there, right? Oh. Does he not trust the tea? I wonder if he would not drink the tea because he's so suspicious of Federica right now. Garfields. Matching pair. Garfields. There's something off going here. Older sister, right? And she's happy about that. His assumption on the teleport is when he took the stone out of Amelia when it was glowing, then it seems like he just landed in front of the ruins, right? That's what the teleport is. Let's break it down. When Frederica gave us a stone, what, she, what did she tell us? She said, this is going to help us cross the barrier. The, barrier the, the stone started to glow. Subaru took that shit and quote-unquote got teleported. Now, I'm not sure if that was Roswell's intentions. Assuming that I don't know exactly how he would have fucking foresaw that. But that's my base understanding of what this rock is supposed to be. The ALF. No. Not the ALF. Yeah, we don't need the fucking thing to enter the barrier. I think the crystal is literally just like a, a misdirection because we think it's supposed to enter the barrier. We know that the barrier keeps demi humans in, remember? The soul literally fucking cannot leave, right? People can enter, they can leave, but like the stone, I'm confused. <laughs> Based on Ram's dialogue, it sounds like Ram loves Subaru. Because she's said multiple times, Wow, you just left alone the sarcastic Ram for Petra? Wow, you're talking to Frederica without me? Like, why would you say that, Ram, if you don't like us? She drank the tea. Oh, I love her. The the arrogance. Ram is very prideful if you think about that too, right? She kinda is. I don't I love her so much. Yeah, she does. She's ready to counter always. Roswell's instructions. And who did you make that oath with? Roswell. Yeah, and what happens when you realize that it is your own master giving the orders, Ram? Damn, Ram is ready to fucking go in. What is that on her hand? Ram have a wand? I've never seen Ram with the, uh, unless it's a random fucking chopstick that she picked up to gouge out Frederica. She uses wind magic. Uh, she, I've never seen a wand before. Never seen Ram use a wand, but I know she uses wind magic. Come with. Interesting mechanic of the oath here. Right? When you make an oath, you cannot break it. I'm assuming Roswell made an oath. Sorry, Frederica made an oath with Roswell. Roswell said, you know, you cannot tell other people about this shit. But she cannot break it by her own free will. But you can force her. Kind of. But like, 
that's kind of you will have to use force to make her by dragging her to the sanctuary and then I don't know this is kind of interesting because like if you can force her can't you just literally just almost kill her and make her fucking confess isn't that forcing how did Puck break his oath I don't think every oath is the same I think that even if you break it there's like punishment along with it and Puck's punishment with a kid in his oath was him forgetting the memories and losing sense of who he is right and presumably he did lose all that and that's why he took such a long time to find uh Emilia in Frozen Bond is my interpretation of that shit but okay you, you can't break it of a free will but you can kind of use force to break this shit and there must be different types of oaths or different strength of oaths I still don't fucking know if an oath, vow, and a pact is the same shit. They keep fucking changing these wording up, bro. Ram clutch as usual. Yep. We've here for a long time. <laughs> As soon as I heard that Ara, bro, oh my fucking god, she's back, bro, she already? Petra? <laughs> Hello. That's what we were missing last episode. If only, if only she did that last episode at the ending, it would have been fucking perfect. But hey, here's the lip, man. What's up, girl? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Promise? <laughs> Promise. Oh, partial transformation. The pause. I mean, I think we have seen her, you know, use pause before and it, it trains before, but like, I'm wondering about the promise. I think the. Yeah, it's in the arc one, right? Like, keep that shit safe until we meet again. That's what I thought it was like something else with Frederica, but no, 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 no. It's some arc one shit. <laughs> Ram. Dude. Yeah, one of each? You're gonna line us up like a fucking spread and just compare all the different intestines? That's fucked up, bro. If Elsa made TikTok content comparing the intestines of different people, that would be some interesting content, huh? Think about it. Nah, it goes against TOS, but like, think about today we have the intestines of a large, medium, and a small, and a one boy. Yeah, I think it'd be fascinating content. <laughs> our gate just got more fucked up, right? I think that uh, we should be very mindful of our gate never being repaired and him using it again. His gate got more fucked up, right? This gate's never gonna get fixed, man, at this rate. Oh. Needles. Oh. No. Bow Hunter. Elsa. Beagle will be fine. Damn, Ram. And maybe that is a smart thing to do right now. That's cold, though. That, ooh. Objectively, maybe it is the best way. Like, Elsa is pretty strong, man. Elsa survived against Reinhardt. How does that work? I got no clue. She tanked that shit. I'm gonna assume it was a divine protection or some sort of blessing that allowed Elsa to, like, survive Reinhardt's attack, but... Can we really beat her? It doesn't seem like it. She's kind of right. But here's the thing. Even if that's true, she doesn't know at this point. She has no connections to Rem. She can't be like that emotionally charged like you. She's not, she's not wrong. Oh. Yep. Yep, she'll do it. Confirmed. Oh, is she gaslighting or is this true? I feel like it's true. I don't think that this is supposed to be a comical moment. Subaru sounds fucking defeated. 
Okay. What are you gonna do, Petra? Petra, can you fight? Maybe she's gonna activate her fucking manga Q Sharingan because her eyes got gouged out that one time, so I'm gonna try to still think that she has special eyes. <laughs> Petra, better than Ram. Ram can't talk back. Ram knows that's true, bro. Let's go, Petra! Ooh. Objective truth. Frederica still injured. <laughs> Deliberately drawing the short stick. As in, she is someone that's willing to self sacrifice, just like Garfield. Their family. Full transformation? Jesus Christ. The stone's true power? The stone's true power is for full beast transformation? God damn, Frederica, you pack him back there too, but this is a furry now. This is no longer like a, a, a cat girl, dog girl, no, no, this is a straight up a fucking animal, guys. Good luck, Frederica. See, they care about each other. Alright, let's go back in. All the doors are open. But like... Elsa could beat Biko? I refuse to believe that. I know Elsa's powerful. She's resilient. But Biko, bro? Like, there's no way. I don't know how strong Biko is, but I've seen her powers. There's no shot. <laughs> Why do I think Biko's that powerful? Did we not watch her literally open another fucking dimension and send Subaru out? Like, based on that alone, I'm thinking she's on a different fucking tier. But yes, this is the Chimera, right? I think there's like an actual name, Guilty Low or some shit. This is a Maju that we saw in Frozen Bond, I believe. Wait, what monster defeated this thing in Frozen Bond? Was it the Black Serpent? It was the Venom of the Black Serpent, right? Yeah, yeah, it got, just, it got immediately fucking bodied by the step. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's like bats around it too. Bats too. Why is the Witch Fiend here? Which fiends are drawn to miasma? But actually, I heard someone say it's a, a, that's actually fake. We've seen from the anime of Subaru using AoE taunt and Maju's responding to it, but I hear that's fucking a lie. I hear that Maju actively runs away from which miasma when only the white whale is attracted to it. Yup, I heard someone say it. Now, I don't know if that's the fucking truth, right? I'm just fucking... Like, can I trust a random fucking chatter online? Like, I don't know, but like, someone is like, yeah, which means um, it's only, it's only like the fucking white whale that do it. But I know exactly, I'm telling you, but the wolf's mark too, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing you that example. I'm bringing you the example and saying like, yes, the fucking, the, the fucking hellhounds were literally, the, I think the wolf arms, the wolf arms were literally doing it, but why would the, why would this guy be here? Because of Subaru's Maju? Sorry, because of Subaru's fucking miasma? Did Elsa bring it here with us? Probably. Right? Or else, why wouldn't there be other, like, wolf arms around? It's, it's not just any... It's not like every Witch Fiend user. It's just this specific Chimera one. So, like, probably Elsa's... Normal food out there. Yes. 
<laughs> Petra! That's respect. Petra hasn't done much, but the fact that she's cutting her hand to draw this thing out, you gotta respect that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the handkerchief thing. What about Petra's hand? <laughs> True, right? Before you, because people are bracing for three, two, one, so you do it before, and then it's like happens right away. It's like pulling teeth when you're a kid. Now, hold up. Wasn't there a thing that can control the Majus in season one, arc two? It was the bald dog shaman. But the bald dog shaman's gone, so it's not like he's coming fucking back. Hear me out. What was the other mystery in Arc 2? There was a girl, exactly, with the bald dog. The purple-haired girl, right, with the fucking braid. Now, she was responsible for breaking the barrier. But other than that, we don't know. But, like, I'm trying to think of, like, why would a Maju be here? Is it being controlled? Bald dog is gone. The only mystery is the girl. Most likely Elsa brought it. Elsa can just command the, the Majus like that? I don't know. That's right, say thank you rather than sorry. Let's go, Petra? Yo, Petra! You are amazing! I love your old kid, by the way. Blaze. <laughs> what the fuck, Petra? That was a jump scare out of nowhere. Focus, lock and walk. Slice of life moments means a life is about to get sliced, bro. Anytime you have cute moments happening, keep your fucking guard up. What the hell, bro? <laughs> what happened? We have Petra still. Ram's dragging us. Patrash, 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 Something else is coming in the frame. Left corner, something else is coming to the frame. I read Red Eye Zaza is here. That was actually really cool. Of how hold up, hold up. Did did it freeze or did they intentionally do that? Hold up. Okay, first. I thought that they were intentionally doing this shit to make it seem like we could only hear it through, like, um... Like, we could only see it through, like, the audio. And being like, whoa, shit, that's kind of really cool how they just, like, made the whole scene so intense. While having no visuals be shown. Oh, that's crazy. That's even better. <laughs> Perspective, the POV getting thrown in. <laughs> oh yeah, we dying, we dying. Ooh. So, uh, what was that? Was that another Maju? Elsa, you coming? <laughs> Petra dead. Petra dead. She's holding her hand, I think, still. Why are you gonna play this song when Petra's dead? Remember when Rem died and they started playing like a um, theatric D or some shit? <laughs> Straight banger. Straight banger, bro. Petra's hand cut off. Straight banger. Ah! Whoa, 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 see. That's uh, Petra. Oh, she got crushed under the rocks. Her arm is literally cut off. I don't know what this is. It's a purple ribbon thing. Patrash is dead. Sad. Ram? That was Ram? Rip Ram. Oof. Look at that handkerchief now. Elsa! Mm. Where'd she go? You beat her that easily? So professional. Yeah, because last time, right? We were much later. But she was early. 
that didn't play out exactly as my direction specified. So she's been given instructions, right? Most likely by Roswell right now. I can't think of anyone that could have done it unless it's some sort of cult member that has insider information with us. But the Roswell theory doesn't really line up because like in arc one, how could have Roswell have hired, you know, Elsa if she, he didn't know Subaru? But it seems like she has, a, you know, a set of instructions and it was supposed to be a time when he's supposed to come back, but he was early. Yes. Wait. Hikikomori is shut in. So like, the client literally said shut in. And who would really know Subaru like that? Does Roswell know to him that extent? I think so. Roswell was very aware of Subaru's like impulses and personality in the first season, but it's funny that literally called him a fucking shut in. Biko? Oh, sorry. Biko, Biko, Biko. Biko technically is shut in too. Right, 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 right. What the fuck is Melee? I don't want Melee taking any more credit from me. Fuck it, Melee is the purple girl. Mm -hmm. Yep, I have no one else to guess right now. You're gonna bring a random name, the only mystery that pertains to this place right now, and possibly controlling Maju's purple girl, fuck it, Arc 2. The angels? No! I don't wanna see them! Vehicle. Vehicle. And this time, we can ask Biko. Roswell told me to ask the question, right? <sighs> and that's today's episode of Ray Zero. Bro, today's call actually actually the Maiden's Gospel. Gospel mentioned. Who is the Maiden? You think that's a protective charm working? Biko clutch for us. Protective charm didn't fucking work for Petra, bro. Come on, you're gonna fucking give the credit to fucking protective charm when Petra's hand just got fucking cut off and vehicle clutches on the shit. Yep, the charm. This fucking charm. Work, bro. I don't... Just, whatever, but this is interesting, right? Maiden's Gospel. I'm not really sure who the Maiden really is. What do you think the Maiden really refers to at this part, huh? What do you think so? Like, the Maiden's Gospel. Because the Gospel is such an important noun that we know in ReZero. Who is the maiden? Maiden is Patrasher? Are you capping? Could it be Frederica? Could it be Ram? Rem? Elsa? Elsa's gospel. The maiden's gospel. Biko. Biko's gospel. I don't know. Elsa's gospel. Emilia's gospel. Fucking uh, Lolly Baba gospel. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of any girl and just fucking slap the fucking gospel there. But hey, that is today's episode of ReZero. Today's episode was... Kind of interesting because Garfield is acting differently. Roswell is a maiden. <laughs> Otto is a maiden. Otto and Nikki, bro. Otto and Nikki, the diary, is a gospel. God, it, Otto is pretty submissive and breedable, so maybe he could be a maiden. Yeah, sure. O Otto has a gospel. Fuck it. Um, so I wonder where Garfield was acting differently this time. Because so far... What I question in season one is, is there some kind of sort of butterfly effect where every time we regress, not each event is going to work out properly? We know that when we progress during the timelines, then the different things starts to move, like Roswell suddenly not being at the kingdom anymore and going to the sanctuary after we subjugated the White Whale, but Garfield is bipolar as fuck and suddenly is against us taking Amelia. Thankfully to Ram. Honestly, Ram was pretty clutch today, huh? Ram was pretty clutch today in like helping us out, get out, and, you know, go to the mansion. Petra has some great moments today. Petra sacrificed, man. Like, fuck. She got her eyes gouged out last season. She got her arm cut off this time. She literally grabbed that blade needle thing, cut her hand to try to save Subaru. I respect Petra so much, man. She's also so cute, but remember, any slice of life moment, a life is about to get sliced. Ram does confirm that it is actually Rem uh, that has her direct blood. And this crystal thing, so I guess i i assume that because uh she used it to transform that this crystal allows the transformation and it is true it does allow it but some people are saying the crystal stores a lot of mana in it and basically what frederica is doing there is taking the mana from the crystal and using it to transform like this pretty cool scene but it, even if that's the case right elsa took her out so elsa is just again so fucking op i don't think it's it, it, it is kind of unreal how fucking OP Elsa is. And who could be the client, right? 
who could be the client that sent Elsa here? At this point, I cannot think of anyone with this much insider info other than Roswell. And because he is a person that is insane enough to let Subaru handle everything because the theory is that he's regressing with us. How does, how does, what is Roswell trying to accomplish by sending extra challenges here? Just to fucking build up Subaru's character? To be like, oh yeah, just for fun, I sent Elsa there to try to overcome it? That doesn't really make sense. Logically, what the fuck is going on? I don't really have an answer, but that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.